Hey y'all, it's Hunter Elliott, Rainshot.com. Hope you're doing well. This afternoon I'm doing an intro for the new P365 Air Pistol, six hours release. Runs just under 100 bucks from six hours website, and it externally is identical to the real P365. However, this one has an external manual safety that functions. I've run a couple magazines of BBs through it. Magazine holds 12 rounds, as well as the CO2 canister. You get about five to six mags through the single CO2 until it starts to kind of get low on air pressure, quit cycling the slide and that sort of stuff. Changing it out is really easy. You can see right here on the bottom, there's an Allen head threaded fastener. You just unscrew that, install a new cylinder, snug it down, it pierces it, and you're back good to go. Put 12 more BBs in a little pistol and she is ready to rock and roll. So. I would see this serving very well as a trainer, especially if you carried a P365, so much so to where if you've got your P365 holster, fits right in there just like the real gun. My point being is if you want to start practicing your draw stroke or mag changes or something along that, you can get some spare extra mags from SIG, then this would make certainly an excellent trainer, especially if you didn't want to make it all the way to the rifle range. You could probably set up a little range there in your front or backyard as long as the law allows and run a BB gun. Or if you wanted to introduce maybe your children or something to the shooting sports, it's got really nice three dot sights on it and it would make an excellent segue from just a standard BB gun, airsoft, to this, which is way more realistic and then introduced to the firearm. So it will serve very well a lot of roles. Now, I'm kind of touching on some of that stuff. I've invited Candy Sugarman of the Gunpowder Gals to come in and talk about this as well. She's run this, she got several mags through it, as well as she runs a virtual shooting range that utilizes six sour air guns. Trigger pull, breaks about five and a half pounds, not a bad trigger for air guns. This, as always, is just gonna be the video intro overview. This is gonna be an article on rainshot.com. So jump over to rainshot.com, read that, see what you think. If you got any kind of questions or comments after that, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all the social media stuff. Please, when you're done, if you like the video, click your subscribe button there. We got new content coming out all the time. So let me know what you think, good, bad, right, or wrong. I always appreciate the opinions. You remember Candy Sugarman with Gunpowder Gals? She's come out here this afternoon to help me break in the new Six Sour P365 air gun. And so we've been out here, we've ran a few magazines through it, kind of getting acclimatized to the little pistol. It's actually a lot of fun, as, as we've talked about before, it stands in really good as a trainer. Being a CO2 gun, it does actually have some slide movement, some actuation there to disrupt that sight picture. But Candy here has got a lot more experience with the Six Sour air guns than I do, so I wanted to get her thoughts on it. Candy, take it away. Thank you, Hunter. So uh, I run a virtual shooting range, and with that we use the 6-hour P226, which is one of my favorite real guns, uh, but we use the CO2 guns there. We don't shoot BBs out of it. I actually have a laser, but I absolutely enjoy shooting it, and I love introducing people who are either new to guns or even who have experience using it. Now this, it was my um, first time using this particular one, and I enjoyed it. For those of you who are like, well, you know, I want a real gun, not an air, airsoft gun. This is an excellent trainer. First of all, and especially if you have someone new to shooting, this is all the fundamentals that you need in order to do it. I want to point out that the slide locks back. It also has a safety, which you have to use in order for it to fire. Don't, you don't do it, it won't fire. Just kind of like a real gun. Exactly. And so uh, if, you're, if you're working with someone who is learning the fundamentals, um, or if you just want additional help, just training because not all of us are fortunate enough to have a shooting range in their front yard it's true <laughs> so if you now i'll say this you, you read the manual you understand everything that you need to if you're going to be shooting this into your backyard that's kind of important and i hopefully think you know about that anyways uh co2 you can buy that pretty much anywhere and if it's okay now there is no bbs on here please confirm there's no bbs yep it's empty all right just so you can get an idea of the sound. Sig was good enough to put some really, really nice sights on this little pistol. The front is a really bright green and the rear is just two little white dots. So it's actually got really good, what I would call functional sights. Like you mentioned, if you've got somebody that you're, you're introducing into the shooting sports or 
you want to get a little bit of training there and you don't want to go to the range or you want to save a little bit of money, you know, a, a box of CO2 and a bag of BBs is a lot cheaper than ammunition. Oh gosh, yeah, absolutely. And fundamentals are fundamentals. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we set up a couple steel targets and was running a couple drills, transition all that and with the steel, the BB is fast enough and coming out hard enough to where you do get a pretty good satisfied ding, which leads me to say that while this is a BB gun, it is absolutely not a toy. So when you're shooting, you could probably forego the ear protection because it's not loud. Yeah. But you definitely want eye protection and you want to make sure that you are using all the four gun safety rules. It, it still has the potential for injury. Mm -hmm. So in conclusion, love this air gun. And I recommend that if you are looking, as Hunter said, to train someone, yeah, to it. train yourself, uh, introduce someone to guns, it's a good idea. I agree. So this is this is my third or fourth review now for some of the sig air guns every one that we've reviewed has worked flawlessly so far this one has also been flawless you got anything else you want to add make sure to subscribe to his channel please subscribe to my channel go check out gunpowder guys on facebook you got a website all that sort of good stuff yes we'll have it all in the links as well as the virtual shooting range just for those who are in north carolina and who are interested yeah, you can see some more of the Sig Sauer air guns in action in a completely different training scenario. Yes. Okay, well, y'all take care of yourselves and each other. I look forward to seeing you at the range.